Over the next two hours, I'm sure we're going to hear plenty of testimony about how damaging having gay parents is on kids. But in my 19 years, not once have I ever been confronted by an individual who realized independently that I was raised by a gay couple. And you know why? Because the sexual orientation of my parents has had zero effect on the content of my character. Thank you very much. Zach, thanks so much for talking to me today. Yeah, of course. That was quite a speech, very powerful that you made. So tell us what led you to give this speech before the House of Representatives in Iowa. You know, I think anybody in my position would have done the same thing. Um, you know, if, if it was, you know, your rights that were uh, under assault, if someone was trying to tell you that your family wasn't legally legitimate and shouldn't be protected by the law, um, it's just kind of the natural response. And your parents were there. No, actually they weren't. Um, the weather then it was awful and uh, actually left before they even got off work. So um, I drove over on my own. They didn't uh, get to watch it until it was on YouTube. Yeah, that's and, what I was saying thanks to YouTube. Now they're doing yeah. thing. You know, it's funny. I was actually sitting at work um, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, we had just been announced that classes for the rest of the day had been canceled. And I was just going through my email and I was about to head out. And then one of my coworkers walks over and she's like, do you realize that you're all over Facebook and YouTube? And I was like... Excuse me? I guess this is what it feels like to go viral. Um, I'm shaking, actually. I, it's, uh, I mean, the whole day, it's, it's been like this. What do you think it is about your speech that really, you know, got people listening and caring? This is an issue that we talk about so, so much. And it's, it's really easy to just talk about this issue without putting a face to it. But something that I bring to the table is that I'm a face with, with this issue. And so it's a lot, you know, it's really easy to talk about how you know, bad gay marriages until you realize that, well, the, the people living down the street, they're one of those couples. Their son, you know, uh, a member of our community is one of those kids. I think a lot of people are probably connecting with that. Uh, but also, you know, it was just, you know, such an emotional moment for me. I think a lot of people are uh, connecting with that as well. Well, unfortunately, as powerful as your speech was, the resolution did pass. So... <laughs> You know, what was your reaction to that? Ultimately, I don't, you know, I've got faith in the people of Iowa. If it ever does come to a vote, and you know, I don't think it should because we don't vote on rights. You know, rights are you know, God-given and constitutionally protected. Um, you know, they're not subject to the will of the majority. But you know, if they do come up for a vote, you know, I've got faith in the people of Iowa, and I believe that uh, those rights will be maintained. Well, what final message do you want to give people out there? The future, you know, it will get better. Um, and, you know, not just for people who are gay, but people who are in families that are run by people who are gay, bisexual, uh, transgender. Um, you know, I've got a lot of faith in the future. I've got faith in our generation. And, you know, to the kids who have gay parents, know that you're not alone. Um, you know, there are other people like us out here. And, uh, you know, the older you get, the more you find that you really are not alone.